for those anglers that have actually come and joined us on some of our trips here on the East Cape, they're really the only ones that can be testament to how remote these locations are. Inaccessible by land and a lot of travelling by sea on a big mothership is the only way to access these areas and that's why the fishing is so great. And coupled with being surrounded by marine parks and the best managed fishery is what we have to give thanks for what we see on the flats each week. I've been looking forward to this trip for a long time. Um, I, I travel a lot and I've never fished Australia. And <clears throat> species like the blue bastard are just fun to say, let alone imagine what it's gonna be like to fish for them. <clears throat> ah! Nothing you can do when they run into the reef, man. It's a bastard. Although we have our bread and butter species, I think the thing that separates us from the rest of the world is, is the diversity of species that we come across on the flats. You could just be walking along and chasing permit and all of a sudden you've come across a coral trout or a long-nosed emperor and uh, that's just something unique that we have that is not available anywhere else in the world. I didn't know what to expect, and um, the diversity of species is really what's impressed me here. Um, the flexibility in the operator, we've had some challenging weather, and we've caught fish every day. Um, I've never caught more permit in a week of fishing in my life with a group, and we've doubled it. So the opportunities, no matter what the weather presents, are extensive when fly fishing with East Coast angling in Australia. Try to catch me howling at the moon. 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 Up to my